We visited the Arizona Survivalist Prepper Expo in Prescott Valley on May 31st. At the expo were vendors carrying body armor, storable foods, medical supplies, hydroponics and aquaponic food systems, and much more. There were realtors selling survival real estate as well as the simple house on Elm Street with the white picket fence. Unfortunately, there were too many interviews I could not get to due to time constraints and too many vendors to cover in this report. These expos are as much a learning experience as a buying experience. The expo had several guest speakers and vendors were happy to answer questions. If you want to learn about a variety of survival preparedness techniques, these expos are well worth the price of admission. Dr. Michael Austin of the Rainbow Bridge Health Arts Center in Tucson was on hand to explain battlefield acupuncture technique. This particular technique was introduced to the military by Air Force Colonel Richard Nimsow using smaller needles in the ears which is considerably safer than traditional acupuncture. This is also an example of a survivalist technique which may be useful in daily life. Battlefield acupuncture was developed in 2001 by Dr. Nimtow. He was a colonel in the Air Force and he was tasked with finding a, a method that would reduce the number of pain medications and narcotics would be utilized. So he had done his medical training in France. Uh, the needles that he used subsequently for this training come from France. Uh, they are not like the normal wire type needles or filiform needles that are used in acupuncture. Uh, they're more like a small barb. They're about the size of a tick. They're quite tiny and the therapy is done in the ear, regular therapy in the ear. This is the applicator. They come in a blister pack of eight needles. Each individual applicator has the needle in the end. You can just see the gold in the tip there. Here's a magnified view of the needle itself just popping out of the tip and you can see relative to the fingertip how large it is or actually how small it is. The needles are left in the ear for three to five days. Anybody? Uh, in Arizona, any person can do acupuncture on themselves according to state statute. Uh, the difficulty is that most people don't have the anatomical knowledge to keep it safe uh, to use the normal acupuncture needles. You, know, you may puncture an artery or go into a, a nerve, something of that nature. Uh, with battlefield acupuncture, it's very safe that because of the, the small, uh, there's no point at which you could actually injure yourself with the needles because it's only done in the ear. There aren't any nerve, well, there are nerve endings, but no nerves that you could actually puncture with the, with the needle itself. Uh, you might nick a capillary, uh, similar to if you cut yourself shaving, you might get a little capillary bleeding, but that's the extent of it. Dr. Austin is interested in teaching this technique to the people of Northern Arizona. Hayes, a bachelor, spent a quarter million dollars on this hideaway where he can sit out any atomic attack in comfort. There's champagne on tap along with a variety of stronger stimulants just in case anyone needs a bracer when the bombs are falling. And a radiation-proof curtain will keep out the uninvited gamma rays. Whether you are looking to include champagne or the champagne of beers, the Ultimate Bunker can probably build it for you. However, they would probably recommend a nice filtered water system. The Ultimate Bunker Company came to display their modular bunker system. We spoke with customer liaison Ezra Child about the modular system. Um, this is the Ultimate Bunker. Uh, it's not the only one. It's the name of our company, Ultimate Bunker. And we specialize in making underground bunkers for people who want to live in a bunker but not feel like they live in a bunker. Our philosophy, if you have to go live in a bunker for whatever reason, you're having a very bad day. Something traumatic has happened, you're with your family, you're gonna have to live in here for a while. There's a good chance it may be for several weeks, depending on whatever the threat is that you are trying to uh, defend yourself from. And our objective is to try to make this as much like home as possible. 
We also asked about the nuclear, biological, and chemical capabilities of the bunker. NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical. That's uh, that stuff is like bunker 101. It, if you don't have one, you, you're probably doing something wrong. Uh, it's not hooked up all the time. It's only when you need it. But you uh, put that up to the the pipe, and it will pump fresh air from the outside. Filter it. Why do you need to filter it? People ask that all the time. Well. Big one, if there's a nuclear explosion, the fallout, or the radioactive material that's been tossed up in the air that's because of the uh, radioactive iodine, it's going to be floating around for several weeks. And that is going to filter it from coming in there. Also chemical weapons, biological weapons, uh, and some more mundane things. If you live in an area where there's a chance of a forest fire or anything like that, that will protect you from smoke. Say you came down the bunker to protect yourself from that. That will give you clean, fresh air. Ezra explained that the modular design can be used to create a bunker based on your space availability. The only limitation is that the modules are necessarily rectangular in shape, so they can be shipped by trailer. We don't start with a container or some pre-existing box. Everything, uh, well, the thing we start with is the customer's idea. They come to us to say, this is what I've always wanted. This is what my family needs. We want to be protected from this type of threat. This is the uh, piece of real estate that I have. All these factors go into it. Uh, we want to be able to live in there for X amount of time. And then we figure out, based on all of their needs, what kind of bunker that they're looking for. And then we take the design, make it look pretty on the computer, walk it over to our engineer. The engineer says, okay, if your bunker's going to be this wide, this tall, this long, and uh, going to be under 10 feet of soil from the ceiling up, then here's what it looks like. And he gives us a little computer schematic drawing and we start from there. We have a whole fabrication team that gets together and they get out the big steel I-beams and they uh, build the frame and then they wrap that in quarter inch steel. And, and that's how the, the process works. So we've never done two bunkers that are exactly the same. Everything's been custom. We have a lot of stock ideas and floor plans, but it ultimately comes down to what the customer wants and how comfortable they want to be. If we wanted to do something that was wider than what could fit in the standard semi-trailer, uh, that's how usually they're going to get to the customer. And we've shipped uh, several places across the United States, even though we're based out of it. Uh, then we develop systems where they can be buttoned together. And we have uh, this material that's this, um, rubberized steel that will go on some flanges. We put them on all of our doors, um, should be right outside our doors. We'll have some flanges that attach to the stairwell and it has this rubberized material that becomes essentially part of the steel. It's like a, so when it all bolts together, it maintains that airtight, which is very important, and, and watertight steel through throughout. So if we want to go wider than a semi-trailer, we're just going to button them together. A lot like if you bought a double wide trailer, it gets shipped in sections and gets connected uh, on site. The ultimate bunker can be outfitted with a kitchen similar to those found in RVs, a bathroom, and security measures such as cameras. The bunkers can also be outfitted with bunk beds. Ezra said some have been built with bunk beds for kids and separate quarters for parents. There are of course other necessary limitations to the system. The girls are not provided by Ultimate Bunker.